Howdy y'all, welcome back to my RV 14A build down here in Austin, Texas. So here I'm just cutting out the foam ribs for the uh, elevator trim tab uh, on the bandsaw. I'm just rough cutting them out before I sand them off, getting off as much material. So try to minimize how much I have to sand. And even with trimming them, and I don't show all the trimming, still took a lot of sanding to get these right. Um, I sanded to just where the black lines are at. I didn't sand away the black lines. I wanted to keep uh, enough material that I could sand it down more because I can remove material, but I can't add foam back. Um, so yeah, handy to have a bandsaw so you can cut this kind of material down. Ooh, doo -doo -doo. So once I get the uh, ribs all trimmed down, the next thing I do is I set up myself up a little jig here with a big piece of uh, angled aluminum and some sandpaper. Kind of wish I would have gotten with a higher grit sandpaper. Um, I was using 320. It took a lot of sanding to get the parts just right. But by doing this this way, I was able to keep the ed edges straight as I sanded it down. So you get the general idea here. Just a lot of back and forth. Uh, I actually used a small little sanding block as well to uh, work the pieces down. You know, constantly checking my work as I went along. Speed it up here a little bit. I don't show all the sanding because I spent over an hour sanding down all the, the parts. Nothing like putting the music on while you work on your RV-14A. So the next thing it has, the plans have you do is uh, you have to bend some uh, closeout tabs on the skins. Um, so it has you use the uh, a flush riveting tool. Um, you tur turn it way down. I mean, it's, it's just barely going. Uh, I mean, it's not like you're hammering on it like you're riveting. It's just turn it way down, just kind of tap along until you get it formed up. Uh, it also talks about how I clamp it down on the wood and where you line it up and draw in all the lines. That's all in the plans. Uh, just follow what the plans say. It works pretty well. Uh, after I got done forming it, oh, i got to go rescue dog. Uh, after you get done forming it, uh, I actually had went and took a block and my and straightened them out a little bit, make sure they're nice and perpendicular. Did that for both the skins. Next thing the plan shape you do is uh, start putting the Clico and everything together. So I got the the uh, front bar. And start putting in the ribs, clicking in all the ribs. Um, you know, and it, it tells you to keep the clicos on the outside, which kind of makes sense because uh, if you had them on the inside, if you the skin to the from, from the inside, you really couldn't get the skin to close up. So you put the second skin on. So here I am. I, once I got it started from the underside, then I was just able to flip the whole thing over and just start putting Clicos in. Um, use my uh, pneumatic Clico tool just to save my hand as I put in all the Clicos. At least it's starting to cool off down here in Texas. Boy, I'm, 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 I'm done with the heat. Um, but I was at least able to open up the garage door and was able to stay pretty cool with just the fan. So I'm hoping the days of having to close the garage door and have the air conditioning cool down the garage where it could work are gone. Oops, save the dog again. So here I'm just starting to remove the blue vinyl uh, off the outside of the skin. You know, just using a straight edge and a uh, soldering iron 
to remove the vinyl. Um, takes a little bit longer, but I'm hoping maybe it's prevent a few scratches on the skin, even though I'm going to get painted up. Um, I just figure it gives, it'll give it a little bit more protection as these sit around while I'm building the rest of the airplane. You know, downside is it does add more time to the build. You can see the Velcro coming off along the rivet lines. Velcro. It's not Velcro. Vinyl. Well, you know, whatever. Velcro vinyl. It's all stretched to the V. As long as I didn't say velvet. I think I got the video a little out of order, but you get the idea. This is the other side. Anyway, so I got started in with a couple of clicos from the other side. And then once I got everything lined up, just start clicking in all the ribs and the spars. Save the dog. So I had to take a break and then get back to what I was doing. This is back to the other elevator. You can see the section where the trim tab is going to eventually go. Here, I think I'm actually clicking in with the uh, reinforcement plate for the servo motor. Then once you get the skins all clicked in, the ribs all clicked on, the, the support plate for the uh, trim motor. And then it has you put in a couple little gussets in the corners of them. And they're really tiny and one of the little brown bags. Put in the quarter, click it in. Fits like a charm. It says you have to adjust, but when I checked it, they were both spot on and here I am click going in the other gusset and then there's a couple of shear tabs that had to put in then you have to go rescue the dog again And that's it for now. Probably start match drilling and uh, continue more work later. Thanks, y'all. Bye.